Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back. The time has come. We're gonna get started on this guitar kit now. Woo! Are you excited? I'm excited. This is gonna be awesome. So we're starting here with the Telecaster. As I said in a previous video, this came from Solo Music Gear out in Ontario. I'm excited. All right, these guys sent me this. They, they sent it to me to do, you know, to do a build, do a review, show it to you guys. They're confident in their product, so hopefully it lives up to my expectations here because, like I said, they were happy to have me take it on, review it online, honestly. Uh, if you're interested in grabbing one of these to follow along, especially <laughs> you might want to wait till the end of the video until you see what we've got here, please check out the link in the description below. Check out their website. You can pick it up there. You can pick it up on Amazon. Have a look at their Facebook. Uh, and if you want to help me out, you can actually go to the kit.com link that I've got in the description there where I have a bunch of their kits on my kit.com site. And if you pick one up through there, it helps me out too. So I would appreciate that if you are planning on getting one, but certainly you don't have to do it that way. Um, all right. That's enough of me yapping. Let's get you in here and get started. All right, let's have a look here. So this, for starters, a little bit rough, um, as, as one might expect from a guitar kit. Uh, it doesn't come pre-finished, that's kind of half the fun. This guy feels like it's had something, some sealer of some description put on it. So you can feel the raised grain. The routing, well, we'll have to put some stuff on there. You'll notice the routing isn't, isn't beautiful. I mean, it's not, it's not really round at the edges, but seems like it's gonna work. They've already got it, obviously all the drilling and everything done. They've already got the pick guard on there. Should be, I'll take that off and we'll have a look. Just having a look at the wood here, it's actually, actually pretty nice. Yeah, not bad at all. We got uh, one, two, three piece body by the look of it. This is the kind of thing that, I mean, you're probably gonna put an opaque finish on, so that isn't really much of a concern one way or the other, but you could you could do it transparent and it wouldn't look horrible being a three piece. I, I don't think it'll look stellar though, not this one. You want one of the veneered ones for that. And I have one of the veneered ones, which we will be covering in a subsequent series sometime soon. So all in all, you know, pretty decent looking piece of kit so far. I might cut a custom pick guard for mine, but as it stands, it all kind of comes with the plastic protection on it. Nothing wrong with that. In order to be able to do anything, I gotta have this off of here anyway, so let's pull it off and see what we're dealing with. Oh, I missed one. That's embarrassing. All right, let's see what we got. Pretty standard stuff. Hopefully I can get that back through there after. Um, yeah, just got a pick guard. There's no shielding that I can see on the back of this. So that's gonna need to be done. I don't want this whole guitar to buzz like nobody's business and it probably would if I don't do any shielding. So something that needs, needs to be taken care of. The pickup routing, again, not the prettiest thing I've ever seen. And uh, we've got kind of the screw hole for the pick guard almost going right into this. So, I mean, it's, it's kind of, 
kind of what you would expect from an inexpensive kit, I think. The, uh, the rounding work is, is good, pretty good. I don't expect that I'll need to do anything about that. Binding looks okay. Maybe use a bit of a scrape for smoothness, but not bad. The drilling's fine. I got no qualms with that so far. Let's pull out some hardware and see what we're looking at. The pickups are gonna be inexpensive, as one would expect. But let's have a look. Get the screws off here first. Yeah, bridge. Bridge doesn't look horrible. It fits, which is nice. We're gonna have to dry fit all of this when we actually start building it. Let's make sure all the controls fit in there properly. I'm doing it upside down. It's because I'm standing on the wrong side of the guitar. That's my defense. All right, so yeah, that looks like it's gonna fit in there nicely. And with the finishing touch here, does this all fit together? Magic 8 Ball says, yeah, that's gonna work. That is going to work. Now, on to important matters. How does the neck fit? Don't need this in here for that. Ooh, nice and tight. Oh yeah, all right. That is a good neck joint. That looks like a good neck joint to me. Yep, no gaps. Nice tight fit. Is this thing pretty much where it needs to be? I'm getting the bridge in place here so that I can check the scale length. All right, looks pretty standard. 25 and a half inch scale. Nothing wrong with that. Now if I run, I'm not gonna put the strings on, but if I run my ruler from the nut slot here, like right in the slot, I think those slots might be a little sloppy, but we'll see. All the way down to the bridge. How are we looking? We're good, we're on the fretboard. Things look like they're on there pretty straight, and that's good. Yep, that looks like it's gonna work. Okay, so this all looks good to me, guys. It's a little rough, definitely needs some sanding work. Fretboard's in way better condition than the one that I built from Guitar Fetish. All right, guys, so that's gonna cover the unboxing. Um, Everything seems to work pretty much. Neck is a beautiful fit. I'm very impressed with that. Uh, the, you know, the whole, the quality of the routing is meh, not, not stellar, but <clears throat> functional. So it'll be fine. And I might even touch that up if I decide to get a little ambitious on this. The, the wood, I mean, most, the whole point of a guitar kit is you have to do the work yourself, right? So you need some sanding. Um, it's gonna be, it's gonna be good. It's gonna be a bit of an adventure. Should be fun. As I said, if you want to follow along with the build at all, you are 100% welcome to do that. Just take a look at the link, mykit.com link below and pick one of these up. They're pretty inexpensive, which is nice. And I think we can do some good work with them. Uh, also, I'm trying to decide kind of how far to take this. I might do, like I said, a custom pick guard or something. I might get some, you know, some, some higher quality parts in here because the guitar itself, and the parts and everything, feel like they're gonna work fine. The fret work on this is actually weirdly good, like way better than I thought it would be. That everything's rounded nicely. Uh, I might, I'll probably leave the nut, the nut seems fine. Actually looks like it's glued in there. Um, yeah, might do some, some more interesting touch-up work. So maybe you guys can let me know. Are you more interested in seeing me just kinda like build this with what we've got here? and show you know, the easy way to get this done to a finished stage? Or are we looking at maybe you're more interested in me taking on something a little more ambitious 
doing a couple extra, you know, modifications and whatnot to make this more interesting. Let me know what you think. Thank you for watching. Please, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up so it's easier for other people to find and they can get into this series right from the start and, uh, and we'll have a good time with it. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do so. And that way you can keep up to date with these videos. So yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one. I'll see you next time.